Y'all ready? Mm-hmm. I'm turning back into a toaster. I'm right trying now. to find my. Okay. Where you We're are? Good. Yeah. You, you good? good? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. Act five, September fifth. Everything that lives is designed to end. We are perpetually trapped in a never-ending spiral of life and death. Is this a curse or some kind of punishment? I often think about the god who blessed us with this cryptic puzzle and wonder if we'll ever have the chance to kill him. September 5th. Unit 2B's vital signs confirmed. Memory storage, thought circuits, auxiliary Auxiliary motor functions, all confirmed to have been restarted. Entering reboot sequence. Good morning, 2B. I... Report. Unit 2B was killed by Unit A2 approximately 1,718 hours ago. 1,718 hours ago. So, 72 days then. Following that, us tactical support units reconstructed your parts. The virus previously inside you deactivated along with the tower's collapse and remains in suspension. Tower? What happened? Uh, 9S! Report. Unit 9S ceased activity for approximately 740 hours ago. Pod 153? Unit 9S was severely contaminated. However, said virus deactivated along with the tower's collapse and remains in suspension. So he's just asleep? Negative. An error occurred during Unit 9S's reboot sequence. What do you mean an error? Unknown. All checks were completed. However, his personal data will not begin loading procedures, causing an inability to reboot. His personal data won't load. Then in that case, run the monitoring sequence and skip the check sequence. Negative. This unit has already attempted 345 combinations 34,500 times, and all have ended in failure. Unit 9S's current state suggests there is a possibility his personal data has been lost due to some unknown cause. His personal data is... lost? Proposal. Unit 2B should consider disposing of Unit 9S's body. There's no way I could just dispose of his body! Understood. After being reconstructed, there wasn't even a hint of dirt on 9S's body. His face looked just like he was sleeping. I took my weapon in hand and packed the minimum necessary provisions before standing up. I had to go. There had to be a way to get 9S to reboot properly. That's what I believed. September 14th. I received information on what happened while I was gone from the pods, about A2 and 9S. I also heard about how the two of them destroyed some huge tower that had been created by the machine life forms. The rubble from it is still scattered all throughout the city. The city ruins landscape has been completely changed. Proposal. Unit 2B should gather information at the resistance camp. The resistance camp was able to miraculously avoid damage from the collapse of the tower. However, Devola and Popola, and a few others in the Resistance, lost their lives in the fight with the machines. Even though Anemone was faced with such a difficult situation, she still remained level-headed. I tried speaking to Anemone about the situation with 9S's rebooting, but she wasn't able to provide me with any helpful information. Report. Relevant records within the bunker have been lost. We Yorha units are a special type. We contain something other androids don't within us, a black box. And due to that, we're capable of much higher functionality. However, unlike general androids, our maintenance is only able to be done on the bunker. It's possible to make easy repairs with the small amount of materials and programs at access points, but detailed information about the insides of our bodies was lost along with the fall of the bunker. Even so, 
I was traveling from place to place, looking for the information I needed. No matter how long it took. Alert. Unit 2B is taking damage due to maintenance failure. Proposal. Unit 2B should perform proper repair and replenish materials. With how tired I was, even doing simple first aid felt troublesome. In the depths of my heart, I started to feel like everything I was doing was meaningless. I don't care anymore. I wonder if 9S will ever wake up. That sort of dark thought process began to take over, and I shook my head. I couldn't give up. I couldn't give up. I couldn't give up. Even if I was just deceiving myself, I couldn't admit that. It caused my body to become heavy. If I go further away from here, I may be able to survive. I may be able to find surviving Yorha members. Report. Mail notification received. Check it. Sender. Jackass. Subject. About 9S's personal data reboot. Yo! How's it going, Tubi? I know a little something about 9S's condition. I've been looking into a lot of things since everything happened, and I came across some concerning information. There were some logs remaining in the access port outside of 9S's memory storage. They were a communication recorded from the ARC object those machine lifeforms made. I don't know anything about that ARC thing, but it might be some sort of server. I'll send you the time and coordinates that they were written in a log right away. There might be a hint somewhere in them. This concludes the body of the email. Time and three-dimensional coordinate data is attached. Those coordinates were right in the area where the tower collapsed. September 17th. Mountains and mountains of white rubble, as far as I could see. I'd arrived at the center of where the tower collapsed, and it was there where I began digging. Hypothesis. Origin point is 40 meters below the current point. Proposal. Search for a more efficient method of digging. That's right. The coordinates Jackass sent pointed me right to a location within the tower's rubble. I was digging through it so I could reach the position she gave me. But the material was much more firm than I expected it to be, and my digging wasn't going particularly well. My breath began to show, and before I'd realized it, it was snowing. It seems the tower's rubble was absorbing the surrounding area's heat and causing the area to cool. According to the pods, it was made of materials derived from the bodies of machine lifeforms, which was composed mostly of silicon, among other things. But that didn't matter. I only cared about my digging. Hypothesis. Origin point is 25 meters below the current point. Alert. Unit 2B is taking damage due to maintenance failure. The tower's materials became increasingly firm the further down I went. I was using my weapon to dig, but I had to stop using my one-handed sword to switch to something better suited, and I proceeded downward by practically crushing the materials with my combat bracers. I continued on, my mind devoid of any other thoughts, until I finished. I could feel an ache run through my pain sensors. But it was only thanks to that pain that I was able to keep myself conscious. Hypothesis. Origin point is 12 meters below the current point. Alert. Unit 2B is taking damage due to maintenance failure. Alert. If no proper repair is performed, it will cause severe impact, impact to the unit's body. As I continued to dig, I found out what that arc really was. It seemed to be a huge memory unit, made up by combining complex crystals. However, as it had been shattered to pieces, I couldn't find a single living crystal. Regardless, I continued digging in search of the arc's crystals. With each swing of my weapon, blood began to scatter. I couldn't feel my fingertips anymore, and the sensors running from my wrists had died. The bolts I'd used to forcibly fix it were starting to dig into my skin. But that didn't matter. Somewhere up ahead, the information I needed to save 9S was... 
Even if only a little remains of the Ark. I have to! Alert. Unit 2B entered force shutdown due to overload. September 19th. Emergency nanomachine removal complete. Unit 2B's vital signs confirmed. Entering reboot sequence. Good morning, 2B. Huh? I... You entered a forced shutdown due to severe continuous operation. When I hurriedly asked about the Ark, the pods showed me a small, orange, sparkling crystal. What they found seemed to be a remnant of the machine lifeform's communication protocol. If we used that protocol and its data, we could create a key and open up 9S's memory storage. Although I didn't understand the details, there was meaning in my continued digging. The pod siphoned out the data and recombined it to create a repair vaccine. Then, we could pull the cable from 9S's access port and create a wired connection. With that, I'd be able to insert the repair vaccine. After that, all I'd have to do is hope that 9S's memory storage data could be evacuated into his personal data. Repair vaccine injected. No effect. Re-administering repair vaccine. No effect. Re-administering repair vaccine. <coughs> no effect. Why? Why isn't it? Hypothesis. Repair vaccine is a failure. Negative. Repair vaccine's functions confirmed to be normal. Try it again. Administer it to him again! No effect. Try again. Report. Traces detected indicating the memory region of Unit 9S's contents have been erased. Negative. It is an effect of the repair vaccine. Hypothesis. Unit 9S's personal data has been lost. His personal data is lost. His personal data was wiped of his own accord, but there is the possibility it was moved to a different location. According to Unit A2's records, it is possible his data evacuated using the machine lifeform's arc. Report. Possibility of recovering 9S's personal data extremely low. Report. Memory components discovered within traces of personal data. Partial playback possible of memory containing the reason behind his personal data's reparation failure. Query. Does Unit 2B feel it necessary to repair this memory component? Repair it. Understood. Data repair complete. Starting playback. I didn't get on the Ark created by the machine life forms. We Yorha. We don't deserve to be loved by this world. We're just soldiers created to die. But I. I think I'm glad that I was born as myself. My personal data, it can't keep its shape any longer. I wonder if I'm about to disappear. But... I'm okay with that. <laughs> hey, 2B. We're... We're not immortal or anything. Someday we'll break down and return to the Earth. But my existence... It wasn't meaningless. Meeting you 
gave meaning to my birth. Thank you. Thank you. Tubi didn't move from where she was. She remained there, unmoving, forever. It was a completely irrational act. However, we can now understand the reason behind it. Why it was that Tubi didn't move. Why it was that she didn't speak. Because we are now in that same place, feeling the same thing. Everything that lives is designed to end. They are perpetually trapped in a never-ending spiral of life and death. However, life is all about the struggle within this cycle. That is what we believe. Y'all ready for the good ending? <laughs> One second. I got a little too into that, <laughs> that last scene. Good job, baby. Good job. Nicely done. <laughs> oh. There's little, 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 love, little uh, hugs for everybody. So that, the that was the bad ending. Yeah, you ready clearly. For the good ending now? Now here's what really happened. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> also, Kyle. Huh? What have I told you about your fucking email notification. <laughs> that was like the worst. I, I called it too. I was like, that's gonna go off at the worst time. Email. Stupid ass email. Ugh. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. Young Turn man. your fucking Just, uh, phone off. Young man. Just, let's cut that out in post, right? No. Good job, buddy. Yeah, it's a good thing we're not doing this live or anything. Nah. Yeah. yeah. It's good that we can edit Well, do it live! <laughs> Proud of you. Nine Proud S, you. what have I told you about being serious? Oh. <sighs> Characters? That you no! <laughs> you no! That was not the yeah, invitation yeah. to start sorry. doing Homestar sorry, Runner crap. Sorry, sorry. Hi. <laughs> so back in this we're gonna do the good ending now. Yeah. And people will be happy <laughs> and there will be less tears. Okay. okay. We we're saying Kyle's phone was the comic relief. Right. Dude, no, Kyle's seriously. phone ruined I, shit. It <gasps> totally did. Young man. But if it kept everyone from crying it, for a few it, seconds. Honestly, <laughs> this 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 broadcast so far has gone pretty well with that and like two other more minor exceptions, mm. I feel like. Oh yeah, someone said instead of Kyle McCarley, it's Kyle McCry. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle McCryley. Uh. <laughs> Weepy McWeeperson. Yeah. Okay, are we ready? Uh, sure. Woo, yeah. Mm -hmm. Breathing, we got this. Here's the good ending. No. Nine S. This can't. We didn't even get to say goodbye. And yet, why? Why am I the only one? Abnormal signal detected from black box. I don't care anymore! I don't. Alert. Strange vibrations emanating from black box. Temperature rising. Alert. Errors detected in the unit's functionality. FFCS offline. NFCS offline. Initiating short range, short range radio wave camouflage. Unit 2B's vital signs are deteriorating. Alert. Immense damage to Unit 2B's life preservation functionality. Proposal. Body adjustment and maintenance in a safe location urgently required. Report. Abnormal vibrations detected from black box. Temperature rising. This unit has already reported on the abnormal situation. Negative. The vibrations are not originating from Unit 2B, but instead from Unit 9S. Negative. Unit 9S's personal data has already been terminated. Reboot is realistically impossible. To be. What did I? I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're. 
It is still unknown what happened that day. It is possible that 9S's black box had retrieved his memory's personal data. At any rate, it may have been affected by some alien technology yet unknown to us. Everything that lives is designed to end. They are perpetually trapped in a never-ending spiral of life and death. However, we cannot give in. Even if this world is full of curses, even if this world punishes us, we continue to resist everything within that spiral while, while singing, singing words, words of prayer. prayer. Punishing me, is this the price I'm paying for my past mistakes? This is my redemption song. I need you more than ever right now. Can you hear me now? Cause we're gonna shout it loud. Our words seem meaningless It's like I'm carrying the weight of the world I wish in some way, somehow That I could save every one of us But the truth is that I'm only one girl I'm the backup dancer Maybe if I keep believing My dreams will come to life Come to life. I hope everyone in the chat was joining in. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was 